Hello everyone, we are here today with Lian Kietz, specialist in audiovisual world and uh, she works for, well, she's the director of a company called Cinescript Berlin. She's going to tell us something about the company first. Okay, hello, hello viewers. Yes, um, I'm here invited by the University of Vigo and um, yeah, let's talk a little bit about maybe the origins of Cinescript. Um, I started myself uh, already in the end of my studies um, in Berlin at the Free University and um, it came across that um, as I was studying already different languages and I was um, very um, yes getting into the world of um, cultures and also different languages so I started and was asked by a friend uh, who was a director of production of a film company and he said if it would be possible for me to do some translations uh, of contracts from French and Italian into German. So I started this way and um, I worked um, during this time with a lawyer because we always have to be very strict in the um, way we translating contracts. Mm -hmm. But in the end I've seen that um, this is nothing for me, uh, like saying that this kind of text is nothing for me. But then I've seen that um, there was something else left for me, which was uh, getting me into the world of translating scripts. And so it was um, about how Cinescript started. Well, during your talk you mentioned that it's important to be a polyglot, to, sm to speak as many languages as possible. And you have proven to me during lunchtime that you speak many languages. <laughs> how many languages do you speak at present? Well, I'm learning the ninth language now, mm. and uh, which is in fact the very most difficult language of my life, which is Polish. And um, up to now, um, I was much more involved with Roman languages, and um, then I was coming across uh, that I wanted to know also a northern language, which is Norwegian, uh, which was very nice for me also to have these different ideas um, and um, yes, now it's time for Polish, but in fact uh, I came across uh, this language because um, we are also having a Brazilian-German association and in this association we're doing capoeira and we have a Polish group mm -hmm. uh, which we're visiting every once in a while or saying every year yeah. uh, and uh, my husband he's giving uh, classes there, he is a master of capoeira, yeah. so he's a master of this group that's why we are there um, during uh, summertime and making uh, a summer workshop there uh, for a whole month, oh, sorry, for a whole week. And um, I was thinking that uh, it would be nice to have a chat with them in their own language. So that's how it started all out. Uh, but I must admit it's really very hard and uh, it's nothing that I was studying like all the languages uh, I've learned up to now I uh, was studying in the university. Mm. Mm -hmm. And now in your company in Cinescript Berlin, mm. apart from translating languages and being, well, uh, working almost shoulder to shoulder with production companies mm -hmm. in pre-production and post-production, you work with universal accessibility, that is to say you produce subtitles, you produce, well, provide services related to interpretation, mm -hmm. interpreting, translation, mm -hmm. how does it work for you? Yeah, let's say um, our main su subjects are uh, translations, um, audiovisual translations, um, like screenplays, um, going more this direction, uh, like synopsis, treatments, uh, everything which has to do with pre-production, uh, like preparing a film. Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, we're doing also interpretation, uh, like pr uh, inter set interpretation. Uh, during the filming uh, and uh, also doing dialogue coaching, which is a very interesting job, which I did myself for many years. Um, and then going over to the post-production, um, which we are also uh, accompanying with uh, subtitling, that's right. Um, it's not something which is a main aspect of our work, uh, but we're doing it every once in a while, and it's also very nice work. Um, we are working with different uh, translators a uh, little bit all over the world uh, and also um, 
yeah, working with different programs like Egisoup, uh, mm. Sublime, Easy Titles. Um, and um, in fact, we're doing the work um, starting from the translation, or receiving, let's say, the dialogue lists, uh, and then doing spottings, um, doing the translation of the subtitles themselves. And then we do also the proofreading, uh, let's say the control, if everything's fine, or if we have like to cut out things, um, which has to be shortened. And that's why we really always like to work with native speakers, which is very important for us, um, really to have this uh, also feeling that the subtitle is right, although the native speaker, he has also uh, to have dived in, into the uh, source language, of course. So that's why um, the, he has also to live in both languages. Yes. So I assume that you value individual talent, but also being able to work on a team. That's right. Yeah, that's very important. Uh, like um, seeing each other like a family, yeah, seeing this group for me like a family, uh, like working with friends. Uh, everyone is growing with each other, learning from each other. Everyone has to be open, really open-minded. Uh, as myself, you know, I'm even learning with uh, with the people who coming uh, to us, uh, doing intern, uh, being interns, and doing internship in Berlin. So it's really something uh, which is my life, and uh, I'm feeling very, very happy to be able to speak all the languages I know every day. And finally, what would you recommend a 17 or 18 year old student who has an interest in audiovisual? Well, I think um, studying languages uh, is a very good start. Uh, being also involved with cultures, um, having this um, really good feeling of wanting to dive into cultures uh, is very important. Um, you don't have to maybe make different formations. You have to be open-minded. You have to be someone who is really wanting also um, to learning by doing, which I experienced myself and still experiencing with new ideas coming up uh, also uh, within this conference we had where I chatted with uh, some students um, mm -hmm. and they gave me also new ideas. So I think... Um, we have to be, um, we have to have a uh, fantasy, we have to uh, think about um, things, uh, what we can do and um, invent things even for our lives. So as I've started also during my studies, I was a taxi driver. So uh, I had um, like to fight um, all my life until now. All right. Yeah. So thank you very much. No problem. And let's no say mention. goodbye now. Yeah, goodbye. You can say yes. goodbye in several languages if you yeah, like. Yeah, okay. Um, let's say, uh, bon, arrivederci, uh, au revoir, bon, um, uh, good dog, uh, um, what else do we have? Uh, do Vizenia. Uh, do do Portuguese. <laughs> yeah. Which is your favorite? Well, okay. Uh, uh, adios y adeus. You heard it here first, Jan Kiert. <laughs> yes. A true uh, expert in what she's speaking about. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Yes.